During a House Oversight Committee hearing on Thursday, Representative Byron Donald went after Democrats over inflation. He decried several of President Joe Biden's initiatives, including his failed Build Back Better bill and the Inflation Reduction Act. Donald said that although those bills might seem to be helping with inflation, they are only exacerbating the problem. He promoted the proposed legislation that would require the Treasury Department to share their views on Biden's inflationary impact. Exit polls have shown that inflation was on the top of mind for a lot of voters this midterm elections. Mr. Donald is now recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. This has been an interesting debate. Uh, first of all, I do support the resolution of inquiry, but the debate's actually been interesting uh, because my colleagues on the other side of the, of the aisle have said how they are in support of you know, the Build Back Better plan, which never came to fruition because the spending was outrageous and they could never get it through the Senate. They were supportive of the Inflation Reduction Act and they cite things about prescription drugs and Medicare renegotiating prices, but they seem to neglect that over half of that bill are tax increases on oil and gas extractions, and it is also subsidies for solar panels and for batteries, all a part of the Green New Deal. That was the major part of that bill. But let's take a step back. Even if it is, if it is your position that those bills are helping with inflation in the United States, which by the way, they are not, they are actually exacerbating the problem, and in the, in the, the part about the American Rescue Plan created the problem, but even if it is your belief that those legislations, those spending bills have helped the American people, then what's the problem with seeing the inflationary impact reports from Treasury? This is the Oversight Committee. The Oversight Committee is well within its purview to get the documentation from the Treasury Department about what their viewpoints were with, with respect to inflationary impact on some of the most major pieces of legislation that have passed not just in the last couple years, but in the past decade up here on Capitol Hill. These spending bills were massive. And so if we are gonna turn a blind eye to get the inflationary impact reports from Treasury, then how can you sit here and say that you support the bills that you voted for if you're in the majority party and the economic policies that have been put forward by Joe Biden and have been pushed through the House of Representatives by Speaker Pelosi? If they're that good, show the reports. It gets that simple. This isn't about politics. This is about understanding all the implications of policies that move through this chamber so that as the House of Representatives makes other economic packages through this chamber, we have all the information available to us to guide our decisions. I think that's a very bipartisan way to look at these things. And that is why members should support the resolution. Because if you're not going to get all the information, but then still support policy positions that have, in my view, in many people's view, caused and raised inflation in the United States, then you're not being serious. If you want to be serious, let's get the reports. Let's actually look at it and read them and then help use those reports to help guide our decision making into the future. This is a good resolution. The members should support it. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back.